Hello, so in this video we will talk about uh, functional completeness in Boolean algebra. So let's start with the preliminaries here. So we saw earlier that any function can be represented by a sum of product form in which we use min terms and product of sum forms in which we used max terms. Okay, but the notable thing was that in both of them the operations we used were multiplication or dot operator addition or plus operator and complement okay so plus dot and complement were the operators so in other words just uh, stating this sentence differently we can say that the set of operators plus multiplication and complement is functionally complete why is it fun functionally complete because any function can be represented by only these operators okay now the question comes whether we can reduce this set or not okay as it turns out we can eliminate one of the plus and product so the sets product and complement and plus and complement are also functionally complete this can be shown using de morgan's law so for example we want to eliminate this plus so whenever we have a plus can we replace it by uh, a combination of only complement and uh, multiplication let's see so then we I have x plus y now this is equal to x plus y double complement because of this double complement here okay now this I can write it as just uh, this one and then this one right now this guy I can write using de Morgan's law I can write x bar y bar and then this complement. So x plus y I can write the complement of x, the product of complement of x and complement of y and then I take the full complement. Okay. So similarly, so this is due to uh, this double complement and uh, this part is due to the de Morgan's. And de Morgan's is right here, uh, this guy. Okay. So, uh, similarly, I can write x, y, this is equal to x, y, double complement. So, this is equal to x complement plus y complement. So, this means that I can eliminate the plus operator and replace it and just keep it with product and complement. And I can eliminate the... Uh, product operator and just you know use uh, plus operator and the complement operator so this means that this is functionally complete and this is functionally complete okay but what about if i have a set plus and and product now note that i cannot make a complement just by using plus and product why because if i have a f x is equal to 0 then x complement, I have to use this x again, right? So x complement is, can it be x plus x or x times x? No, right? So what I want is I want 1 here because if x is equal to 0, I want to just use the plus operator with 0 and using this 0 again to make it 1, which is not possible, okay? So it turns out that plus and product a set of plus and product is not functionally complete so not functionally it's not functionally complete okay 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 so let us now um, introduce two new operator operators which uh, which is one of them is called the NAND operator and one of them is called the NOR operator now this NAND operator means is just that you take the uh, if you have X and Y you take the AND operator or you do X times Y and then you do this N means not. So it, it means then you take the complement. So X NAND Y, this is equal to X Y complement. Okay. Similarly, the NOR operator is X, this NOR Y, this is equal to X plus Y and complement. Okay. So this is the 
if you have 0 and 0 you get a 1 0 and 1 you get a 1 1 and 0 you get a 1 1 and 1 you get a 0 similarly for norm you have these four options here they both are binary operators so as we know as we know our binary operators operate on two operands okay x and y here okay now what we want to show is whether just this NAND is functionally complete or not okay so let's so this is again uh, a review of the all the boolean identities for the vo2 just uh, just uh, take a look okay so NAND is actually functionally complete now this can be seen that if we have a not x bar it's just x NAND x y because we saw that 0 NAND with 0 is equal to 1 and 1 NAND 1 this is equal to 0 now x plus y this is equal to the NAND of x and x and y and y and then you NAND it again so this can be done I'll do one of them and then you can see that all of them can be done in the similar way so let's make a table here so we have four options 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay now we have to do x NAND x right so x NAND x is 0 NAND so I'll write so x NAND x 0 NAND 0 is equal to 1 0 NAND 0 is equal to 1 1 NAND 1 is equal to 0 1 NAND 1 is equal to 0 similarly this is 0 NAND 0 is equal to 1 1 NAND 1 is equal to 0 0 NAND 0 is equal to 1 1 NAND 1 is equal to 0 okay now I have to NAND this one again with this one right so I have x NAND x NAND y NAND y okay so 1 NAND 1 is equal to 0 1 NAND 0 is equal to 1 1 0 NAND 1 is equal to 1 0 NAND 0 is equal to 1 and similarly I have x or y is the same thing that I have or 0 or 0 or 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 1 plus 0 is equal to uh, 1 1 plus 1 is equal is equal to 1 so, so we see that we get the same values for both these columns so they are in fact equivalent here so this is an equivalent expression of this guy so similarly using these kind of uh, table or truth values you can prove that each of them is actually true okay so then this applies that a complement can be replaced by an and a plus can be replaced by an and and a product can be replaced by just NAND. so similarly nor is the same a nor can be uh, a complement product and uh, addition can be replaced by nor case okay so this means NAND is functionally complete we can make any functions using just NAND and we can make any function using just nor okay now let's see an example of actually making a function like that so we use this space here let's say we have a function which is f of x y and z this is equal to x plus z times y okay okay so now this is a plus here right so for plus and we are we have to use NAND okay so for plus we have this expression here so first of all I will write x x NAND z z correct then y so this is a product here so product is this nanded with this nand this nanded with this so this is equal to oh, this is a big big bracket x dash x then z dash z then y then this is the same copy and paste here then x z okay so this is the way we can write this function using just NAND operator and actually it is pretty straightforward to see we can use the same story with the NOR operator just uh, using uh, these definitions so no, the purpose of doing this was that if you have just one operator in at, in at your disposal you can still represent any function using that one operator if that operator is functionally complete namely NAND and NOT okay 
So this is about functional completeness and about uh, NAND and NOR operators. Hope it was easy to understand. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video.